Okay, we need to go left. Oh, left. Oh, there's a small country road. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, this could be it. Wow, look at the views. This could be my favourite area in England, babe, the Cotswolds. And we're just entering onto the property now. So welcome to a new video. We are, at this moment, driving down a gravelly road and we're gonna go and spend the next two nights in a really cool accommodation complex. Something we've never done before. No. Yeah, just follow this road, babe. Oh my God, how pretty is that house? Beautiful. Oh, I love the English countryside, babe. It's like literally how I first imagined England would be when I first moved here 13 years ago. Okay, Graham's got us lost already. I can't vlog and do maps at the same time. Sorry guys. Uh, we need to go back up. I think we need to take a right. I think it was up that gravel road. Five minutes out. Let's get there, let's get there, let's get there. Okay, so we totally went the wrong exit then, babe. Technically. Turn right onto Ascot Road. I think we need to be somewhere there. Oh, I see a tent, babe. Tent, don't give it away. Oh, shit. Take it away, babe. Okay. Ah. But in here? Yeah. In here. Okay, we haven't technically booked yet, but we know we want to stay here. They said we could come and stay with them for a couple of nights, but I don't know how we book in. No. At the moment, all we're seeing is like a small stone henge right <laughs> yeah. in front of us. Okay, we have sussed it out. We know where we're staying. Theodora's just turning the car around, and I'm going to walk through Stone's Hedge. So we are at Holy Combs Cotswolds camping ground, and it's really cool. As you can see behind me, there's some teepee tents and we are going to be staying in something different and we're going to show you now quite excited about this one guys Come on, babe. you want to lift are you excited yeah where should i park park up here or something yeah go okay so we've arrived at the glamping site and we have decisions to make are we gonna stay left or right? Oh, I'm excited! <laughs> so cute! Shall we stay in the gypsy van for tonight? How we cool. can stay inside an original gypsy van. Oh my god! <laughs> How cute! Oh my so god. it's quite small but yeah. it's so cool this bed pulls out yeah and this goes down you've got like a wood stove <laughs> that's the cutest you've got some wood on the side here you've got a kettle sugar so you can make yourself a cup of tea oh you've got lights i'm not sure where they go oh might... here look <gasps> oh wow oh yeah that? i see it all the different colors and then outside you've got a little table and chairs awesome. and a little fire pit so you can Get some marshmallows in the evening. Oh, how romantic, how cool. babe. So this is the Gypsy Carmen wagon, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> gypsy wagon. The second option that we can do, you can probably see it already in the background. Not yet, fully. Oh, maybe yet. Is an Airstream. How cool is this? I've never stayed in an Airstream before. Love it, pure silver. Oh, it is so traditional. Are you ready for this? Yes. You ready? Yeah. You sure you're ready? Yeah. Here we are. Ah. Okay. <laughs> How cool, babe. So we got a, a wood burner behind you. I just love this. Like we get a wood, we can put that on real cozy. Kitchen. How cool is that? That's huge. But yeah, we got everything we need. We've got wine glasses and everything. Okay, with this one, we have our own toilet, towel, sink. Little bit of luxury, babe. This is beyond glamping in my opinion full length mirror and then where the magic happens the bed babe it's so cute oh my gosh babe <laughs> two persons bed so cozy 
Beautiful. There's so much storage. Like we have a whole sitting area. I suppose someone could sleep here as well if you have kids. And then outside, we also have a pit, fire pit. We have table and chairs, but look at this view, babe. Guys, we can help us decide within the next hour or two, and then we will go with whatever you guys decide. But be quick, guys. So either the airstream or the gypsy or the gypsy wagon thing. So you see this camper van over on the side here. They're all set up, got their chairs out. Oh, that warning could be us soon, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited to see camper van series with the babes. So this is the bell tent. You need to knock babies, there might be something oh. in there. I was only joking. Oh God, you got me really scared. <laughs> Theodora is so gullible, you would not believe guys. I believe anything anyone says. I feel like when you book this one, you're literally Khaleesi and Drogo, babe. How cool is it? It's so romantic. So you can stand up in this one for definite. Oh yeah. Your bed's on the floor. That's really cool, but I'm secretly really happy with our Airstream, babe. A bit of more glam in the glamping, you know what I mean? Okay, it's around seven o'clock now, so I think we should unpack the car and then head into the local town. And she said the local pub was really good. Had some nice ales and some nice food. So we'll take you guys with us. And this is already starting off as an epic two day little holiday vacation in the Cotswolds. Yeah. So English. Oh, love Apparently it. the weather's going to be good tomorrow. Oh. So cannot wait for it. Me neither. Hungry? Always. meters outside the campsite look how cute this is how i dreamed england would be when i first came to england that's Ruth. yes little cottages look at the street even though i'm an englishman when i come and see this stuff it's just so like english you know you won't find it anywhere else no definitely not my dream to always have a thatched roof on my house when i'm older which i already am but <laughs> yeah when you grow up babe when i grow up Okay, we found which way it is. We thought we went totally the wrong way, but I think we're almost there, right? So of course it's Friday night, it's packed, so we don't know if we're gonna have a table for two, but I see lots of ales for you. Okay, we spoiled for choice. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ales on tap. This is unheard of. This is why you gotta come to the Cotswold. Can I try that one? Okay, we were going to get some food here. Only the average food price for a meal is like... 20 quid. We're just not going to do it. We just, we just can't <laughs> afford like 20... Like we can afford it, but we can't afford it, if you know what no, I mean. It's just principle. That's just not happening. So we're going to finish these, go back to the Airstream. And get cosy. And get cosy. So we're going to set all in, make it all nice and cosy. And we're going to get up nice and early, hopefully before sunrise. And see you then. Here he comes. 